make these wooden spoons, this is white oak. It's going to take a combination of the bandsaw, the lathe, and I'm going to use this for the first time. Arbor Tech sent this to me a few years ago. I've never even opened it, but it should be able to carve out that spoon shape a little bit faster than by hand. So we'll see what we got here. Like I said, I've never used one of these. I'm looking for kind of a, a gouge, something small that I can control. Probably, these are actually really nice. Probably something like this. Right here should work. Or maybe this one has more of a round to it. So I think I'll try this one first. This bit is going to slide and lock right into place like that. Took me a minute, but to get it out, hold that button and you can see you can change the bit out. Not exactly what, not exactly sure what this means yet, but I think I know enough to get started. I'm planning to have a round shaft that runs into the spoon. So I'll be turning this on the lathe, but before I do that, I'm going to remove some of the material. So I'll cut this away, and while I'm at it, I'll make kind of a, a gentle curve around the spoon shape.
Okay, well, I think that turned out pretty nice. I like the shape of it. This little concave with the square edge. And just a fun project, something to get you out in the shop and, and make some sawdust. I haven't been in the shop that much because I've been turning the shed into a home office for my wife. I have been taking footage and eventually I will be posting that video. But we can go out there right now and I'll just show you what I've been up to. Okay, so here we are. You can see the mini split over there, so this is climate controlled. This originally was the boys' music studio, so the mini split went in way back then, maybe four years ago. I do have a video on that because there's a little shed that hangs off of the building to house the mini split. Originally, there were canvas walls here. That was to help absorb the sound of the music studio. So now you can see I've got the sheetrock up. I've got the first coated joint compound. On the ceiling, I have, it's kind of a shiplap without the lap. It's just half inch MDF ripped at seven and a quarter, and then a small chamfer on each side to get that detail. In the center, I'm gonna be running two pieces of molding down either side of the main piece. And those pieces of molding will be like one inch by I think an inch and three quarters and then I can run a piece of molding up the gable end to dead end into that and that'll hide any gaps that are in the sheetrock. The windows went in a few weeks ago. I am going to be adding a second pane. I don't know if you can see, but I do get condensation in the window and by adding the second pane, that'll get rid of that issue. I'll then be trimming the window with casing. I have to figure out some way to treat this door because it is just a shed door, but I don't want to change that. So I have to, maybe some kind of a shiplap thing. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do yet. A little bit of baseboard molding. It is going to get reclaimed white oak hardwood floors from the real antique wood mill. And I think it's going to be a really nice space. My wife's really excited about it. The new windows added so much natural light to the space. I will have a track for track lighting in the center and then I'll be making all the furniture for this space. So I've already made her desk, I'll be making the artwork for it. So it's going to be a, an ongoing project where some furniture I've, I've probably already made. We have some things that I've made over the years I can put out here, but definitely some custom things, built-ins, storage stuff. So it's going to be, I think, a really nice place to come out and work so that's what's going on thanks for tuning in and i'll see you next time if you would like my help building the furniture for your home i hope that you'll visit my website at johnpeters.com and check out my furniture project plans with the large variety of projects and links to the video tutorials right here on youtube I know that you'll find something that will inspire you to spend more time in the shop and build something beautiful for your home.